All right, today I'm going to do some uh, eel fishing. And once you have then done that, you just throw it all around. And then just throw it as far as I can, yeah? See? See that? Just to... So that they can smell it, you know, hopefully. Because this is a, a lake, so the water is not moving uh, quite easily. So once I've done that, then I'll fix my, my line. All right, here we go. So as usual, I only bring a line like this and what I'll do is I'll just put the line, I put a, meat, a piece of meat and I would prefer to put the meat, I don't know, maybe try to go through just in case that because they know what to do honestly, they actually try to nibble it little by little though I use this to fish in the river It's good to let it play like this so that, and this will, for example, stay in the, in the water and then if a fish pull it uh, let's say I put it here yeah okay let's say this is actually in the mud somewhere and when a carp pull it pull the hook look it stays so there is no movement so this is actually a very good way of fishing yeah that yeah. movable yeah movable look at this movable movable all right let's do this let's throw it as far as I can I hope so today, as usual, I'll be I'm using kangaroo meat that I bought from the supermarket. Kangaroo meat is, uh, it has to be fresh, please remember. If you don't use, I mean, I believe other meat also can, but if you use, uh, if you don't use fresh meat, what happens is that uh, tortoise, especially broad shell tortoise, might uh, go for it. And when they get caught and it's just too difficult to even remove them and so on. So it's really not nice, you know. So, uh, so I'll try to avoid that. The meat must be fresh so that you can, we can ensure that uh, eels will get it. Of course, you can actually use um, worm, but if you use worm, you will also get uh, carp. And I don't really, I mean, I, if I have already enough carp with me, I try not to have more, you know? So yeah, yep. So now it's just to wait. Wish me luck, thank you. As usual, this is my favorite fishing spot. So the flexibility of this stick is really, really good. So, so I just tie it right here and that's it. Now it's just to, to wait, yeah? Oh, those fillers. Yep, their time calling each other to go and sleep, I guess. They are so, so noisy, these guys. It could be that they saw me, that's why. They're telling each other, hey, I'm not going to disturb you all. They're very, very noisy. Yeah. Cockatoos, yes. Oh, decent size, decent size, yeah. decent size. Whoa, this is big. This yeah, is big. Woohoo! <laughs> There's a big one. Come on. See you. Oi, oi, come on. Oh. Hi, 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 hi. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You were in just now. You were in just now. Okay, go. Yeah. That's it. There he goes again. There he goes again. There he goes again. Not yet. He's very, very careful. He's not swallowed it yet. Okay. One, two, go! Yes, I got it. Yeah, I got it. Ah, oh, I got it. I got it. Yes, I got an eel. Yes, there it is. I don't understand why you didn't take it earlier on. Look at this. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah, that's a big eel. Nice. Ah, look at this. I got one. This is uh, it's called Australia short fin eels. Yeah. I'm going to let this one go. Okay, here you go. There you go. Okay, that's it. I let it go. All right, uh, I managed to get that one out from the hook. So I let it go. So yeah, so now it's for me to get ready and heading home. It's really getting dark and you, call, you all can hear the sound of the cricket. Thank you again for watching. So that's how to catch uh, eel. Uh, remember to use uh, fresh um, meat. Uh, you can use any meat, I guess. Lamb meat, uh, beef, or I don't know about chicken though. Chicken is not so, not so, the smell, I would say. The, the sense is not really, the sense is not really that, that strong. So I would suggest you use uh, lamb, lamb heart, beef, kangaroo. Kangaroo and beef is about the same. They're quite strong in smell. So this really reminds me when I was in Borneo, when I was young, when we fish for eel or even for other. <coughs> freshwater turtle um, the soft soft uh, soft shell turtle the huge they can be very very big you know maybe up to I don't know 15 20 kilos you know 
and what we do is that we use uh, uh, squirrel and squirrel smell is very strong too and it works really really well so yeah and of course here in Australia there's no squirrel and just important thing is to use fresh meat remember to use fresh meat yep I'm getting ready thank you again for watching please subscribe to my channel I have channels on carp too and also I like paddling canoeing and uh, camping so do subscribe to my channel if you want to know more about myself thank you again bye so there it is this is a huge one look at it huge eel. yeah it's quite big fella I would say this is a long fin yeah such a big one Oh, whoa, 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 whoa